an investigation into an incident that was caught on camera. A two-year-old sneaking onto an airport's baggage conveyor belt while his mom was trying to print her boarding pass. Lindsay Davis is here with that story. First, I want to start out with the little boy yeah. is okay, but certainly after some really frightening moments for his mother, classic two-year-old behavior here as little Lorenzo's curiosity leads to some airport exploration and the discovery of a conveyor belt. Once he was on, he tried to get off and mom says she wanted to get on to save him, but the belt simply moved too quickly. A Georgia toddler is recovering this morning after a shocking incident earlier this week in the Atlanta airport. This is two-year-old Lorenzo, just moments after his mother, Edith Vega, set him down at the airport while she printed her ticket. Within seconds, Lorenzo walks past the Spirit Airlines ticket counter to check out the luggage conveyor belt. He swings his leg and then his entire body onto the belt, then quickly disappears behind the black flaps. His mother realizes what's happened and alerts an airline employee who promptly stops the machine. I just went blank. I wanted to jump in and try to go get him, but didn't allow me. Vega stands by while employees try to figure out where Lorenzo went. I was just freaking out and I'm like, oh my goodness, I hope he's okay. I hope he's just enjoying the ride. But the child is still on the move, caught up with all the other bags where he enters and passes through an x-ray machine. Probably two to three year old male. He has lacerations through his arms from coming down the carousel. His travels then take him further down into a massive bag room where almost simultaneously all the TSA employees look over in disbelief as they see two-year-old Lorenzo come riding down the belt, rushing to his rescue and calling for medical help. Christopher Strickland describes the moment Lorenzo came down the belt. He was uh, clearly suffering and going through a lot of anguish. Watch as you see him grab the child. It was uh, quite a moment uh, that really brought perspective to life and how important life is. So at that time, that child became all of our child. A TSA spokesperson tells ABC News they will participate and assist with the broader investigation into the incident. And Spirit Airlines says the boy passed by a section of our ticket counter that was not staffed or open at the time. But they are currently working with TSA and airport officials to ensure all protocol was followed. Lorenzo was quickly reunited with his mom. He did go to the hospital, but is now back at home with some cuts to his arm and a fractured hand. Any mom can really imagine that that can happen within seconds. Mm, a toddler like that, yes. especially a little boy. Okay, the x-ray ex exposure, some people are a little bit concerned about that. You know, most uh, medical experts are saying there shouldn't be any concern, even if he was scanned, that the idea here is the CT scanner is a lot like what you'd find in a doctor's office mm -hmm. as far as uh, medical diagnostics are concerned, that the larger issue might be any kind of emotional trauma oh, sure. or physical injuries that he suffered while he was on that conveyor belt. Oh my gosh, that video and seeing him was like oh, a lazy river. Oh, right? <laughs> we'll jump back on again. That's for sure. No. That's for sure. <laughs> we are glad he's okay. Yes. Okay, Lindsay. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.